climate change is impacting different communities in uniquely local ways. Take New York City, where sea levels have risen over a foot since 1900. So addressing climate change isn't a feel-good slogan. It's a commitment to the city's future. That's why Con Edison is partnering with NYC to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions with the goal of 100% renewable energy by 2040. One way to tackle climate change, Big Apple style, is to cut transportation emissions. That's the second biggest emitter in the city after buildings. And a great way to do this? Get more electric vehicles on the road. But electric car ownership isn't just a consumer choice. It's an infrastructure challenge. And Con Edison, the energy company for the region, is working together with its customers and charger developers to create this infrastructure. So, how is this paving the way for more electric vehicles? New York loves EVs. More New Yorkers are buying electric vehicles year by year. In fact, they bought 50% more electric vehicles in 2021 as compared to the year before. But plug-in vehicles need a place to? Well, plug in. For many EV owners, the most convenient charge point is a garage or driveway. But only 9% of New Yorkers live in single-family detached homes. Increased dependence on electricity for transport means increased need for access to EV chargers. That's where Con Edison comes in. They have teamed up with NYC's Department of Transportation to create charging stations across the five boroughs. The biggest challenge to our customers in adopting an electric vehicle is having access to charging at home. Many of them live in apartment buildings. They don't have access to dedicated parking or driveway. And so the best way to convince people to buy electric vehicles is to make sure they can find charging when and where they need it. But this is a densely populated city with a streetscape all its own. If you want to add chargers, that means peeling back a lot of layers of an urban onion. Electric vehicle chargers consume a lot of electricity. A fast charger can charge a vehicle in about 30 minutes. To put that in perspective, four fast chargers consume as much electricity as a 300-unit apartment building. This is why we're working to overcome this challenge and create infrastructure so New Yorkers can purchase EVs knowing that the infrastructure will be there to power their chargers. The installation of 100 chargers across the five boroughs is nearly complete and just a starting point. The goal? Spur the development of thousands of charging ports across the city by 2025 where customers need them most. We're actually working to support installation of almost 20,000 electric vehicle charging plugs across our service area. These are gonna show up at apartment buildings, at dedicated electric filling stations, kind of like gas stations, at workplaces. Electrifying transportation doesn't just apply to private EVs. In Westchester County, Con Edison brought five electric school buses and used their batteries during summer to support its grid. The successful pilot has lessons for school districts and others who want to move to cleaner and quieter electric buses. Supporting a clean transportation transition for the heaviest vehicles, like trucks, transit buses, and school buses, will bring together cleaner air and quieter surroundings to neighborhoods. Getting all this done is a tech and policy challenge. Con Edison provides incentives to get New Yorkers closer to clean energy, supporting customers and developers that require infrastructure to power their chargers, EV and charger tax breaks, and money for homes that increase energy efficiency or build storage for renewables. When I think about a future New York, I think about a healthier city, cleaner air that my family can breathe, our neighbors can breathe. I think about quieter cars buzzing around, school buses transporting children, trucks transporting vital goods, and I think we'll all breathe a little easier. If you can take on climate change here, you can do it anywhere.